Hello everyone and welcome back to Valhalla. Oh, I can I guess our TV's broken. Uh oh. Hopefully that doesn't have anything to do with what's going on outside. In the last one we finally came back to the bar with Dana. Gil is here and he's alright. Uh we met a couple people along the way and Stella, who's not doing well. She has not heard from Say since the bank incident, and we're all kinda worried about her. We just took her on a little bit of a break. Hopefully she's okay. God damn. Is it chilly outside? Yeah, I'd say. Oh, time to do the jukebox. Oh, uh, you know, you know, we're just gonna leave it. Um, but, but, eh? What would a kid like you know about that, eh? I'm just giving you the facts as they are. Oh no, Stella, don't talk to that guy. Oh no. What happened while I was gone? Let's see. Detective guy comes in, cat boomer girl greets him, they start talking. Everything was okay until I sneezed, and the girl mentioned Zaibatsu Corp offhand. After that, the guy got riled up and started badmouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. She just carried on like it was a normal conversation. I see. Stella, it's okay. Don't worry about that, dude. Well, I won't deny Zaibatsu Corp is anything but innocent. Once you get down to it, it has enhanced the quality of life here. Yeah, if by enhanced she's been getting yanked around a shiny new chain around our necks. Can't you see that those big companies don't care about us? Why do you think Glitch City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? We're just one big test group for them to use however they want. Then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. Two, I don't know. And two, I have a privilege that clouds my judgment. But... Can you deny that the meddling of Zaibatsu Corp has brought quite a few benefits? Like what? The AI integration programs they started is making huge advances in the AI department. Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AIs as citizens. Yes, but we also hold the AI reformation program. Meaning that we're also the world's little in prison. AI went rogue, transfer it to a delivery drone or ship it to Glitch City. That murderer is now delivering your pizza. Fair point. Also, that program has proven to have reformed many AIs. They don't brag about their 88% success rate for nothing. Um... The city also has stronger economy. Zaibatsu Corp's success has made more and more companies bring their products here. And the gap between classes continues to grow. God, this age-old argument, right? More companies just mean more people who will plant their feet in your face. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Well, Stella really knows. Um... Zaibatsu Corp's main medical research brand has also made lots of discovery. More and more illnesses previously thought incurable are being addressed every day. It's amazing for those who can afford it. Meanwhile, down here, we're experiencing medicine shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Oh, but there are also more jobs. All of the companies coming down here need personnel. So the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. More jobs? Shut up. Am I on? Well, that's... Oh shit, she stuck it to him, did she? Hey you, don't just sit there, give me a Zen star. Sure. Let's make a Zen star for the Sora baby. Oh, he did not win his argument. Oh no. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Open up the cellar door. One, two, three, four. On the rocks. And mixed. He's ready to drink it down. Here. God, this is awful. It's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. Why else would I say it? You do bring up something I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over time are limited to few. I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end, there's still a luxury belonging to only a few. And even those that can be accessed by everyone are more like an improvement in the bigger picture. That doesn't take away the fact that there have been positive changes. Credit where credit's due, don't you think? That's a pretty mature answer. 
Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. So the only people afraid of discussion are the ones whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. Well, this, this is getting a little too real for me right now with the current state of the world, eh, guys? Yeah, mature, whatever. Of course you'd say that because you lost the argument, sir. I'm going to take the chance to ask you about that job I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find much, but I can at least tell you that she wasn't at the bank when it opened up. Right, I forgot that Stella did hire this guy to try to find Say. I hope... I hope he knows what he's doing. I hope he actually can find her. I'm a little dubious of his talents. What does that mean? Either she left before the whole ordeal started, or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. All the corpses are accounted for. They only found one totally disfigured, but witnesses identified it. It wasn't your friend. That much is for sure. I see. Did you call him here? No, he just so happened to come here today. The weird part is, is that the girl did enter the bank. It's like she vanished or something. I see. Thanks. Keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. Hope is the last thing you lose, I guess. If he's telling the truth, Say might have found a way out. She's a resourceful girl. She surely did something. I, I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Oh. Just get me whatever you order. Two bad touches, please. <laughs> okay, on it. Oh, Jill. Never change. It's fucking funny. It's always funny because I would do the same thing. Okay. Uh, two, four, six, and ten. Could make them, well, could make them large. One, two. One, two. One, two. And one, two, three, four. Rocks. Mixed. That's one. And then the next is one, two, one, two, two, one, two, three, four. Rocks mixed. There you go. I remember this one party I went to. The guy came up with the name of this drink showed up. After people found that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. They didn't seem offended to me though. Imagine a guy shows up and tell you I made a classy bad touch. Wouldn't you line up to slap him? Um, are you okay, Jill? I'm f f fine. <laughs> now that I think of it, did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Vondelay? Turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl? Someone paid me to look for Crimson Rose and she happened to be at the... Uh... What? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. Oh, don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about is with Say's people. Why's that? Her attitude is usually so laid back and gentle that she has no problem getting people on her side. And on the off chance that she has to defend herself, well... I once saw her take care of a warbot gone haywire by herself. She did need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, she's also really good with Krav Mega and... Ugh! Oh, something wrong? No, nothing. I just realized I forgot all about that. Say's not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, She's resourceful. She surely found a way out. Oh, I just hope she's well, wherever the hell she is. She owes me an ice cream. You want another drink, Mr. Vandelay? It's on me. Are you sure? Yeah, order away. Okay, then I'll have a piano man. And you, Miss Stella? I'm fine. Get his order. One piano man. Oh, God. It's time for some bop. One, two, one, two, three, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Here we go. Here. So, this is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. Yeah, it's kind of good, isn't it? All right, I should get going. My contact will arrive at the rendezvous point soon. I'll let you know if I find out anything else, Miss Hoshi. Please do. 
right then. God, I hope he works out. I hope he works out for Stella. I'm not sure about him. You've been generous today. He made my night with his discoveries on Say Situation. Oh, look at how happy she looks. She's so cute. I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. Well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. Thanks again. Please come again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? No, girl, you're welcome to stay as long as you want. Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. Thanks. This place is soothing. I'll just go sit over there near the arcade. Alright then, that would be all, Dana. Quite a mess, the situation with um, Robert. <laughs> Brian, you have a meeting in an hour with MI6 all C. Right, right. Who the hell is that? Oh, if it isn't Miss Hoshi herself. Ah, Brian, fancy meeting you here. I didn't expect to see you here of all places. Are you busy? Mind catching up for a bit? Sure, no problem. Jill will be sitting over here. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. What's up, Jill? You alright? This fucking face is... weird. Click on it. It doesn't do anything. Um... Ugh. This holophone is an old model, so hanging up is a bit laggy. You can call me Cass, by the way. I I'm Jill. Say, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. Uh, I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. Uh, she's not hurting anyone, and wouldn't you say it's more interesting than Wubba? Oh, it finally hung up. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Oh, well, we met someone else. Oh, it's been quite the day. At least the streets are calm today. Oh, that's good. I have <gasps> arrived yet again at the <coughs> oh god, at the majestic Hall of Heroes. Calm until now. You're back, are you, darling? Oh, have you summoned any ghosts today? We meet again, bartender. You look winded, Virgilio. It's pronounced Virgilio. No, I'm pretty sure it's Virgilio. You said as much the last time you came. Pronunciations are a silly thing society imposes on letters. They want to be free. They want to be pronounced however they want. I see. You look winded. We are all little toys winded by the cruel hand of fate. Just stumbling on until it decides not to wind us anymore. And yet, you're the only one in the vicinity hyperventilating. Look, he's just a little out of shape. It happens. That's me too. That's- oh, I was jogging. Oh, maybe it's called yogging. I, I, maybe it's a silent J. Dress like that? I can jog however I want. Yes, you can. What can I get you? Something fake. Of course- alright, he's the one that speaks in riddle- Fake? Huh? Guys, what's fake? I have no goddamn idea, so here we go again. Sour classy vintage, bubbly classic vintage, sobering, promo bland. Um... Just reading over these quickly. Frothy water. PG rated shows, favorite beer is- have we made that before? PG rated shows, favorite beer ever set since 2040. Huh? Something fake. What sounds fake? Oh god, this is gonna take me a hot minute. Sunshine Cloud, the suplex is N Star. Frothy water sounds weird. The is that what if I'm right about this. Oh, it's all like Oh wait, should I make a large one? Why well, I guess you even you can't really. Cause you would have to like quadruple it. Triple it at least. Two, four, six. Yeah, even even if it's big, it's just eight. So maybe I should make it the way it's set. I don't think we've made this before. Aged and mixed. A frothy water. Oh, it looks like beer. Favorite beer ersatz. PG rated shows. It's fake alcohol. It doesn't have any cometrine in it. Oh, is this what? Oh shit, is this what I want? Here. And this is. Totally not beer. Oh, yes, yeah, just as fake as I want. 
Say, Virgilio, where do you work? I take the noble duties of curator at the Steampunk Museum. Oh my god, of course you do. It's perfect for you. Really? What do you do? I study everything that comes and keeps it clean for the people that visit the premises. But lately, my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah, he told me stop touching the exhibits, you're gonna break them. The nerve of some people. So you're really not in charge of them then? Eh? Huh? He still fails to realize that I'm the curator there. Oh no, he's not actually, isn't he? He's probably like, I don't know, like a secretary or a ticket taker or something. Without me, all those machines would be rustier than they already are. Okay. Even the visitors get that I'm the one responsible for those? Why can't the owner realize that too? Yeah... I bet he treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly! Oh, maybe he's the janitor. Oh. Okay then. Time for your next challenge, bartender. Challenge, he says. I want purity. Um... I can't give him pure ingredients, so... Uh-oh. Purity? What would purity be? Sweet? Bitter? Sour? Spicy? Maybe spicy. I don't know. Girly, manly, classic. Oh, pure. What could be pure? Uh, I think we're gonna ha- It's probably none of these, right? Let's just make sure. Right, he's already ordered this. All right, we're gonna have to do the hard thing again. <laughs> Read. Because there's gotta be something in here that gives me the, the clue. Traditionally brewed beer is luxury. Say the name of this drink three times. It's unnecessarily brown. Teeth turn blue. Smug assholes, buh buh buh. Champagne served on a cup. Maybe. Knock the drunkenness out of you or knock you out cold. Velvety. Ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. PGRH has already did that one. Unbearable. Punch made of innards, but the name actually describes what you feel while drinking it. Face red. Thermometer. Oh god, I don't know. I do not know. Doesn't burn hard on the tongue. It used to sparkle. Sweet, light, and fruity as girly as it gets. What could it be? Old chocolate milk. Twist on the pile driver and the Zen Star. Pure. Wait a minute. Wait, no. No. Four of each ingredient on the rocks and mixed. You'd think something so balanced would taste nice, you'd be wrong. Is it pure like all four ingredients are equal? Do we have another drink like that? I don't think that we do have an equal. I don't know. That's probably not it though. Oh, shoot. Oh god, yeah, this one too, but we've already given him that, so it can't be that again, right? The frothy water is also equal. Uh... Oh god. Sour pro I'm trying it. I don't freaking know, you guys. I This is wrong. All I can think of is pure, like, it's all equal? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. And I mean, it also comes to an equal number on the rocks and mixed. We already served some of these, so I don't know if this is it. How is this pure? Uh oh, I fucked it. Oh well, it was bound to happen. <laughs> it's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Oh yes, beautiful. Oh wait, could I have just given him anything there? <sighs> hmm. Hey, you, the guy over there. Me? Yes, you. Have we met before? Can't remember. Maybe? Yeah, I think. Hmm. No, 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 no. We haven't met. Ever. At all. That's an interesting reaction. Gil, what'd you do? Ah, uh, Jill. I'll be taking my leave now. Be careful out there. Thanks. Huh? Excuse me, have we met somewhere before? That face. That eye. What about my eye, punk? 
We haven't met ever at all. Never, ever, ever. Good talking to you, bartender. He's afraid of her. What the hell? Oh, Stella, did he offend you? Um... Did you just scare off a client? Apparently. Well, I'm off. Messy for everything. Don't mention it. Are we done for the day? I don't know. Today's been weird. Yep, quite a few clients considering the whole situation. Oh, shit! That Virgilio guy! So you two actually met before? Yeah, you could say that. What? What? Gil stuff, don't mind it. What were you talking about to Brian? Well, we were mostly catching up, to be honest. I hadn't seen him in a while. I offered him a drink when we, let, when we met last week. I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to, uh, explain the situation with Robert here. He agreed to help me out with that one when the time comes. Ah. Oh. I was also tuning up the details for the new employee. New employee? A part-timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. Ah, I can't wait. Oh. Him? So it's a guy? An adorable guy, if I do say so myself. Ah, yay. <laughs> I'm ready. I suddenly have deja vu. You alright, Jill? Yeah. It must be nothing. Jill, what's wrong? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, we made zero mistakes? Oh, thank goodness for that. We got 30% commission, we got payment, and tips. Flawless service bonus, and then Brian told me to give you this, so we got two bonuses today. Oh, my goodness me. We're gonna have enough to pay that bill. I hope. Okay, on the 24th, but we still have some time for that, so we're, I think we're gonna be fine for that. Jill is a bit tense. Buying a shoulder massager will prevent her... Yeah, right. I've heard that before. Anyway, in the next one, we'll go ahead and buy Jill her... Shoulder massager, <laughs> if that's what it is, I don't know, we'll have to see. And then, uh, ah, oh, we're gonna get a new employee at the bar? How weird that they would employ a part-timer when the bar is gonna close, but maybe it's for a reason? I guess we'll have to see in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am, and I'll see you soon. Toodaloo!